Hey, happy Friday to you. Thanks for joining me. This is Gina on Stars Touch Heartfelt Healing. So I wanted to have a little chat today. Um, I didn't realize that you can lose your hair after having COVID. I had COVID June 1st through maybe the a couple of weeks. And I just called my naturopath today and asked the office, you know, what's going on? I have never had this happen before where I'm you know, losing handfuls of hair, and they made it clear to me, which I had no idea, that two to three months after COVID, a lot of times the adult hair will start shedding, and it can go up to nine months. So it's so important to um, do a little different supplements and different things that can really help grow that new hair as that happens. So I, I've been reading about onion juice, putting that on your thinning spots, um, just different things, magnesium, iron. So I'm going to be trying some stuff and I'm going to share this with anyone that might be having this. I, I didn't know. I, I really, when it started happening, I thought, oh, you know, transformation. I'm, I'm shedding my old skin and, and rebirth of, you know, my new self, my authentic self. I was coming up with, you know, all kinds of ideas, but evidently it's something that I don't know if the COVID affects the hormones. I haven't figured it all out yet. But I'm going to really work at it, and I want to share that with you guys as soon as I know. So it's interesting. My stepmother used to say to my dad, you know, if you ever go bald, it's a deal breaker. Boy, that really hurt my heart, you know, for him. And uh, he always took it with a grain of salt. But I sit here and I go, you know, how grateful am I to be um, fine with anything? You know, I'm so grateful to God that I have hair. But hey, if I lost my hair tomorrow, I don't think people would stop talking to me. You know, it's just, um, it's amazing how some people think. So I just want to say, I'm so grateful, you know, for everything in my life. I'm so grateful for you guys. And I hope that you have support in your life. It's really important. You know, it's what's on the inside is what's beautiful. If you have outer beauty, good, you know, all the more power to you but it's inside. What, what do you do? What do you say to people? How do you treat others? I mean, it's, it's for me, it's, you know, do unto others as you wish to have done to you. Um, I've never forgot that saying. Anyways, I don't want to ramble on too much here. I'm sending you energy the whole time though. I did pull a card out of the crystal card deck and it wasn't a card that I expected at all. Dib night. Conflict. Wow. It makes sense for me right now, though, because I'm realizing that I have to take care of my health. In my life, if I do something that's not okay with health, automatically something happens in my, and I, and I have to stop, whatever it may be, you know? Um, and that's exactly what's happening now. My hair's falling out. I have to have, you know, may, I, I, it says drink lots more green tea. I'm going to replace my coffee with green tea. Hey, chaga, whatever. I'm going to do whatever I have to do because it's just a message to me that I need to even be healthier than I was before. So stib night, here we go. Stib night's energy can sometimes feel a little sharp and prickly. Its medicine encourages you to look at any internal or external conflicts in your life. When connecting to and receiving this powerful energy, you will find the courage and strength to face any situation, giving you the wisdom to move through conflict with ease and grace and find a place of peace and understanding. The crystal meaning, it'll support you in your personal empowerment and transformation, grounds you, your energy to the earth so you feel supported. This crystal assists you in dealing with the fear of conflict and confrontation, supporting you to create healthy boundaries. Oh, healthy boundaries. Wow. I am learning that, but it's, it's taken a really long time. I was just, you know, and when we respect ourselves and take good care of ourselves, others will do the same. And it's just, again, it sounds too easy, but it, it works. Support those. This also supports those who suffer from chronic anxiety, enhancing and supporting the astral um, journey in your life, assists in dissolving apprehension and uncertainty. Wow, I need a piece of this. I'm going to be using this card and, and just really um, meditating on the card itself because I, I don't have all these crystals. But they say if you just picture it in your mind, it'll work. So if you want to take a snapshot, pretty powerful, Stib Night. 
It says conflicts a natural part of life and highlights moments that may require more awareness. The Stib Knight encourages you to see this card as a beacon of light shining on something that requires a little more love and attention. Inhale their love and take a step back to observe your situation from a higher perspective. What are you contributing to in a situation? Take responsibility for your role in the conflict and detach yourself from the drama. You may need to distance yourself from a situation while you replenish your energy and get a fresh perspective. If the conflict is internal, you may be out of alignment with your own truth. If so, take an honest look at your thoughts and feelings and make a decision based closer to your truth. And trust the conflict will soon pass as you stay true to yourself. You can learn many valuable lessons through dealing with with conflict and challenges, this card can also be a reflection that whatever you have asked for guidance on will somehow be bring about conflict. Take a moment to reflect and make new choices and decisions based on your truth. Time, tune deeply into your own intuition before you move forward. That's exactly what I'm doing today. I drove a boat out to this island and as I was driving it, I was singing and chanting the Reiki symbols, and I was joyful and realized all of a sudden the motor that I'm, you know, the 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 um, gas tank is empty. I mean, all of a sudden it's put, 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 and I, and I was like, oh my gosh, am I going to even make it? It started puttering well before I got here, and um, for whatever reason, I just feel like um, faith and putting myself out there, just singing and, and being joyful and those Reiki symbols. I believe that's what got me here to this island. And I'm, I'm stuck here right now. And I'm, I'm grateful for it. I know I need this time alone to really manifest and meditate and ask what my body needs for my hair, for my health. What do I need in my life, my relationships? It's a lot of questions that are very hard to swallow sometimes. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit here and I'm just going to let God speak to me. And and then I'm going to have to call for help to get back, back off this island. So I don't know if that amuses you guys, but I'm sure that I will have no problem. There's plenty of people around. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I just pray that everyone can find a way to put up those boundaries and have less conflict in your life. That card is amazing. It's the first time I've ever pulled it, so I guess we really need that today. Thanks for watching. Oh, I have the hardest time disconnecting because the sun's shining. I'm going to drop it down like I've been. Thank you.